Hi friends, thanks so much for watching. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you through all of the spring home decor that I picked up in my last video, my winter undecorate and spring shop with me. If you haven't checked out that video yet, I will link it down below so you can check that out first. And then after I show you all the things that I picked up from Hobby Lobby, Michaels and Home Goods, I'm gonna be showing you kind of how I plan for my spring home decor, what room I might put what things in. I'm just gonna lay it all out for you and show you everything that I've got from this year and previous years. Please hit this like button if you enjoy these types of videos and don't forget to subscribe, especially if you are new to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by and let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so the first place that I am going to start is with Home Goods. I adore Home Goods. I think that they have something for everyone. And I found a couple of really cute pieces that I thought really went with things that I already had. The first thing that I picked up was this adorable Ray Dunn uh, soap dispenser. I just think this is so stinking cute. And I actually love how minimal it is. You can just see it has this little bunny and it just says soap on it. And I already had some soap that I bought in the store and in bulk and I needed a soap dispenser so that I could use that up. And so I thought that this was perfect for spring, super adorable. Uh, comment below if you are really into Ray Dunn items. I know some people love them. Some people don't like them at all. Comment below if you are a fan of Ray Dunn. So the next thing that I'm going to show you, I actually got two of these. They came in a set. Um, these were $20 for the set. And I will insert a picture here of the wall above my kitchen table. I really feel like I need something on this wall. It is so big and so bare, and I'm not totally sure yet what I wanna do with it, but I picked up this and there's two of them. And I thought that they would look super cute um, side by side with something in the middle. I'm not entirely sure what I might put in the middle. I picked up a picture that I'll show you in a little bit from Hobby Lobby that I thought would look good here. But now I'm thinking something else might go better in the middle. I'm not really sure what though. Uh, comment some suggestions below if you think that there's something that might really go well with these. Um, it doesn't have to be the same shape. I'm thinking it needs to be a different shape since these are both round. But I thought that these were really cute and they really fit the style of my house. And I'm just looking for something to go in the middle between them. So the last thing that I picked up from Home Goods is this really sweet um, watering can. And it just has these adorable pastel colored Easter eggs inside of them with some grass. And this is the Martha Stewart Home Collection. And this set was $8. And I love how there's so many different colors in here. I think depending on what colors you use in your home, you could pick up almost any color that's in here. I personally really love blues. I have a lot of this teal color in my house and this blue color um, in my kitchen especially. So I'm not entirely sure where I'm going to put this little guy yet, but I thought that it was really, really sweet. So the next store that I went to was Michael's and I didn't really find a whole lot at Michael's, but what I did find was super affordable because the day that I went, they had 50% off, I believe, all of their spring decor. So I actually only ended up spending about $5, which is totally reasonable. Um, but I saw these and I thought that they were so cute and they were only like $2.50 a piece. How cute are these? I absolutely love this vintage look. I'm not entirely sure what you call this style with the little knobs on the outside. Comment below if you know what this style is called but I love this blush pink. Um, this was originally $5 and since everything was half off, um, I got it for $2.50. And so I picked up two of them. I got one in the blush color and then I got one in this clear color because then I figured depending on whatever season, I could use this for other seasons. Doesn't necessarily have to be spring, but I could also use them together. And what I really liked about Home Goods was, if you watched my last video, I talked about how I really liked all the floral arrangements that they had, fake floral arrangements. But 
they're very expensive and I was thinking that I could kind of do my own version of a fake floral arrangement with these and then I might head back to Michael's and pick up some fake flowers and kind of create my own little arrangements. They don't have to be very big since, um, you know, they can be paired with other things. I might use one of these on my fireplace mantle. I haven't really decided yet, but I thought that these were so sweet and for $5, this was a steal. So I only picked up a few things from Hobby Lobby as well. And the first thing that I picked up is this print. Well, it's actually, it's a canvas. And I think that it would look really sweet in my kitchen. I'm not entirely sure where. Originally, I thought that it was going to go between those two round things that I got from Home Goods, but um, the more that I looked at it all laid out, I think that this would look better on a smaller wall in my kitchen. Again, I have a lot of these colors. I really love grays and these blush pinks and these teal colors. All of these tones are colors I already have in my house. So I'm not totally sure where I'm going to be using this yet, but it definitely matches with the theme and I have nothing on my walls right now since I'm still painting most of the rooms in my house. And so I'm gonna figure out pretty soon where this is gonna go and I'll show you in my spring home decor video where this ends up going. The next thing that I got is this sweet little bunny. I love this look of grass creatures, I guess you could say. I saw quite a few bunnies and other animals that were made out of this faux grass. It feels really fuzzy. And this one is just so sweet. I was thinking I could get like some ribbon and maybe tie like a little bow or a ribbon around his neck if I wanted to add a little pop of color. But I just thought that he was so sweet. Really, really cute. And then the other thing that I picked up, the last thing that I picked up from um, Hobby Lobby is this really sweet plate. And recently I have been, or my boyfriend has been buying me fresh eggs, farm fresh eggs, and they are just delicious. Not to mention so beautiful. If you have ever bought um, fresh eggs before, then you know what I'm talking about. Just the different colors, the blues and the greens. And so I thought that this would look really sweet. I'm going to try to figure out a way to display some of those eggs that I get from um, one of our local farms. And then this plate right here, I just thought would look super cute. I feel like I need a plate stand though. That was one thing that I didn't think about when I was purchasing this is I don't really know how I'm going to display it without um, a plate stand. So I may need to pick up one of those. But those are all the things that I got from um, Hobby Lobby and Michaels and Home Goods. So now I'm going to take you into my office and just show you all of the home decor that I have from previous years and kind of show you how I plan out where everything's going to go in my home. Okay, so starting out with planning out some of my spring home decor, here is that really sweet Ray Dunn soap dispenser that I just picked up, and I had this already. I think I got this in the Target dollar spot either last year or the year before. My bathroom doesn't really need a ton of decor since it's pretty small, and um, pair a cute hand towel with that, and I think that is good to go. Moving on to my kitchen, so I have a cake stand in there that I think would look really cute. Um, I already have a few things on it and I'm thinking I might add these sweet little um, Robin's eggs. I love like the moss on this. I cannot remember honestly where I picked these up but these are really sweet and I thought that they would go nice with the plate that I just got that I'm planning on putting um, in my kitchen. Just got to get a plate stand or something for that and then Moving on to stuff that might go in my living room on my mantle. So I have quite a few um, different things going on here. This guy I know I picked up last year from I think AC Moore. So he actually turns on if you flip the switch. I think the battery still works. Yes, yeah, so you can see there's like a little light in there um, that could go on my mantle. I also have a few different types of bunnies. This is the one that I just got. I've had this one for a long time. I think this was a gift. And then this one I picked up last year. Um, I had no idea where I got that, I can't remember. And then those are the new vases that I got that I could do some kind of floral arrangement with. Um, here is the watering can that could also go on the mantle. I have like a sofa table too that's next to my stairs that I like to decorate. There's already a few things on it. And then I think this is probably too big to put the 
fresh eggs in, but I could do some other type of fake floral arrangement in this, and that would probably be pretty inexpensive. This is just like a plastic empty pot. And then over here, I laid these out so you guys can see, excuse my lack of receptacle covers, um, renovation problems. <laughs> I have the two round um, pieces that I picked up from Home Goods, and then here is the picture in the middle. I just don't feel like I love the way those look together. I think they would look good in the same room. I just don't know that I love them together. Let me know what you think. And then I have this. I've had this for a while. Um, it probably needs to be a little bit freshened up since some of the flowers are falling off, but I don't know if this would look good like here instead. I don't know. Maybe that's just too much. And I don't know that that would look good above my table either. I don't know that that's like the right thing for that. So comment below what you think. Um, I definitely want to keep these two round pieces, but not totally sure about what should go in the middle there. So I have a couple of signs that I've had in years past. This one I probably won't put out until closer to Easter. Um, and I might actually put these in the same spot. Maybe I'll put this one up first and then closer to Easter. I'll switch it out for this Easter one here. Um, but these can go somewhere in my living room in the entryway just to kind of welcome people in. Um, this is all I have here in terms of like fake flowers. I just have these sunflowers. So I don't think that these are going to work. Um, I need to go get some more fake flowers to make those vases. And then I know that I picked this up in the Target dollar spot, like maybe four years ago. I've had this thing forever. It is just so stinking cute. It's like a, you know, garland. It just says spring on it in like that gold, um, lettering. It's really pretty has these little flowers on them right here but I could put this anywhere maybe I don't know how it would look on my fireplace mantle but we could try we could try that a couple of throw pillows that I got at AC Moore last year um, this chair actually needs to go back downstairs in my living room I had it where the Christmas tree was and then I put the Christmas tree away and haven't brought the chair back downstairs um, and this chair is an Ikea chair I love these little throw pillows the only problem is with these, they're not reversible. Um, and my couch is striped, so they look a little off with the couch. So they look kind of sweet on this chair, but um, until I get a new couch, striped pillows and a striped couch probably don't work very well together, but these, um, this pattern is really, really pretty. And these colors look super nice with um, almost anything. The last thing that I have is actually hanging up in here inside my walk-in closet. Um, I keep all of my wreaths hung up here on like command hooks. And this is my wreath that I had from last year, last spring. Um, I kind of think I want to go with something else. I don't really think the colors match my new house as well as I'd like for it to. So I did not get a wreath and I did not find one that I loved when I was out shopping the other day. So maybe I'll stick this one up for now and then um, keep looking for something just a little bit fuller, something with more colors than just this yellow. That is going to be all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button. Please subscribe if you have not already. Share this video with your friends if you know someone who could use some spring home decor inspiration. And I will see you guys again really soon in a brand new video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.